Sepsis is the presence, presumed or definite, of infection combined with signs of systemic response to infection. Severe sepsis is defined as sepsis with organ dysfunction or tissue hypoperfusion. Sepsis-induced hypotension is sepsis with hypotension that is not reversed with fluid resuscitation. It's defined as a systolic blood pressure of less than 90 millimetres of mercury, a mean arterial pressure of less than 70 millimetres of mercury, or a drop in systolic blood pressure of 40 millimetres of mercury from the patient's baseline. Sepsis is a high mortality condition. An early, appropriate treatment can make a big difference to survival. Guidelines for the management of sepsis, created by the Surviving Sepsis campaign, can be found at the web address shown. The principal systemic signs of sepsis are changes in temperature, a fever greater than 38 degrees C, or hypothermia, less than 36 degrees C. Changes in white blood cell count, uh, greater than 12 or less than 4. Uh, a raised heart rate, greater than 90 beats a minute. And a raised respiratory rate, greater than 20 breaths a minute. Or hyperventilation with a PaCO2 less than 4.3 kilopascals. Please be aware that patients may really be quite well when they display these early signs of sepsis and in particular young people may appear well. However, there's a potential for deterioration which may be rapid and this may be stopped by early treatment, in particular early administration of antibiotics. Severe sepsis can cause multi-organ dysfunction and failure. In the cardiovascular system, there's hypotension and raised serum lactate. The lactate's very often used as a marker of disease severity and uh, to monitor uh, progression of response to resuscitation. Sepsis can cause acute lung injury. Patients may have an increasing oxygen requirement to maintain normal saturations and signs of respiratory distress uh, may be present. Acute kidney injury with rising creatinine and oligoanuria. Um, it can cause acute liver injury manifested with uh, rising bilirubin. It can also cause hematological derangement, thrombocytopenia and prolongation of uh, clotting pathways reflected normally with a prolonged PT. And uh, increased inflammatory markers in addition to the white blood cell count, uh, the CRP is raised and procalcitonin may be used as a somewhat specific marker. Um, it also affects conscious level and it can cause delirium. These signs are all indicators of a severe and potentially life-threatening illness. Treatment should not be delayed and experienced personnel should be involved in the management of these patients. Bacterial, viral and fungal infections can all cause sepsis and it's not possible to distinguish the causative organism from the symptoms and signs. In many cases of sepsis, up to 50%, no microorganism is ever identified, even when all indications point to an infective cause. I would reinforce for the final time that early administration of antibiotics is a high priority in sepsis management. You should never assume that someone else has given the antibiotics even if you've prescribed them. A delay in giving antibiotics increases mortality from the disease.